You cannot force yourself to stay in office because you want to circumvent the, the law, the rules, and change the law. There's one writer, I won't mention the name, very ordinary writer, who says, when you see in a country, there is no rule of law. When you see men in office changing the laws to suit their needs, then you know you are dealing with tyrants. Then you know that there's no more a state to talk about. What you have is corrupt men ruling, forcing themselves on, is abusing the police. Number two, abusing the security system, including some, very few, in the security system. And number three, the breakdown in the rule of law, where they do not respect the law. That's the, those are the only few things keeping TF in office. But it is clear, come an early election, come 2021, we are ready. Now, why are they doing this 50% plus one? They want to survive, cling on to a straw, like a person, a man who is drowning in the river, hangs on to a reed, to a straw, and hopes that that straw will save them, but they will still sink and drown. That is the typical situation. This is wrong. Let us have democracy to fulfill the wishes of the people. Let us maintain the majoritarian system. If you are tired, ask the PFR, Actually, Zambians will celebrate. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. As the PF, Lorenzo, you may know, you may not know they are moving towards driving our country back to a one party state. So they can do anything they want. We will stand. We will stand against this. And let me declare openly here. If HH Akain will be the last man standing, I will stand alone on the side of the people. So people remain hopeful. Thank you. Looking at the second point, there was also a proposal to have uh, an option of having a coalition government. All right. Now, that, did, uh, that kind of like defeats the fundamental of a 50 uh, percent plus one majoritarian uh, elected president what did yes. you make of that proposal <laughs> Lorenzo <laughs> it is absolutely crazy it is obscene it is absolutely obscene to imagine first and foremost that the PF can want to move to a coalition government to circumvent the people's wish for a majoritarian system to have 50 percent plus one for a winning party or president by the way we have a presidential system here we don't have a parliamentary system that's a, another point how do i know this is what people want it has come through from various constitutional review commissions just for example, Mungomba Constitutional Review Commission, National Constitutional Conference. This decision was made by the people through a consultative process. Lorenzo, remember, in 2016 January, what did Mr. Lungu do? Didn't he go to the stadium, Independence Stadium, Hero Stadium, and dancing around, even playing with a pen like that? He says he's signing this constitutional amendment. In there, January 2016, around there, he included the constitutional amendment to bring about the 50% plus one and argued then that this is what the people have always wanted. And he was dancing around, as he does dance, you know, when he's saying, This is so annoying to people because people have no food. The melamine is too expensive. Right? You need to lower the cost of melamine. 
we need to lower the cost of food. But someone is dancing around the Danali Nakasaka Kandaram. He is dancing. He was dancing there. That he has done what the people wanted. What has changed? Was he lying then? Maybe yes. Is he lying now? I know he's not telling the truth. So, this is a negation of what people want. People want 50% plus one. He amended the constitution himself. The MPs then in the house were duped to think that he was doing the correct thing. Now he wants to dupe them again to correct what he said was correct within a short period. 2016, 2017, 2018. Really, you can talk of two and a half years. You mean the mind of his is so forgetful of what is right, what is wrong? It means he didn't know what was right then. Neither does he know what is right now. That's confirmation. Let us not destroy people's wishes. People want a majoritarian system. Why, amongst other reasons, they want a majoritarian system? They want inclusiveness. They want not exclusions that we see today. That's the first point. The second point around this, Lorenzo, is that PF knows they've lost popularity. Mr. Longo knows he has lost popularity. He knows he will not win the 2021 election or earlier election. Or earlier election. Because anything is possible. And when I say this, some people get scared. Oh, what is it? Oh, Panga Mulan. Kulibe Mulan. The people of Zambia decide when they want an election. In 1991, the people of Zambia decided to have an election two years ahead of the scheduled election. The scheduled election, Lorenzo, we may have been young that time, was supposed to be 1993. But the people said, Twa 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 We want an election two years ahead. And the people of Zambia decided so. They are the owner of the constitution. They can amend it. They can decide what they want to change leadership that is failing. They did change leadership two years ahead of the regular five-year period. It's the people who decide. So, for saying this. So, the people of Zambia, whenever the election will be held, they have taken a decision that PF has destroyed their families. There are too many marriages breaking today because of economic hardships, which lead to social hardships, which lead to hunger, which leads to arguments between husband and wife, and marriages are breaking, and children are suffering, and women are suffering, not men. Lorenzo, the only thing that's keeping PF in office are a few things. One of them is abusing the police. Number two, abusing the security system, including some, very few, in the security system. And number three, the breakdown in the rule of law, where they do not respect the law. That's the, those are the only few things keeping the in office. But it is clear, come an early election, come 2021, we are ready. Now, why are they doing this 50% plus one? They want to survive, cling on to a straw, like a person, a man who is drowning in the river, hangs on to a reed, to a straw, and hopes that that straw will save them, but they will still sink and drown. That is the typical situation. This is wrong. Let us have democracy to fulfill the wishes of the people. Let us maintain the majoritarian system. If you are tired, ask the PFR. Wachokamo, machokamo, mwendopumula. Actually, Zambians will celebrate and celebrate even harder. So, this is wrong. It is also a matter, a matter that is extremely important. Why am I saying so? You cannot circumvent progress in a country. You cannot force yourself to stay in office because you want to circumvent the, the law, the rules, and change the law. There's one writer, I won't mention the name, very ordinary writer, who says, when you see in a country, there is no rule of law. When you see men in office changing the laws to suit their needs, then you know you are dealing with tyrants. Then you know that there is no more a state to talk about. What you have is corrupt men ruling, forcing themselves on the people. So let's maintain the system. It was also going to create a lot of confusion at Lorenzo. 
We don't know how they're going to do it. Because we have issues of a parliamentarian system where you can do collisions based on that. But behind it, there are a lot of other attendant laws, other attendant procedures that you need to change. Now, PF has no capacity. It has no will to do that. So they're just going to create more competition. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, what do you make of uh, the proposed amendments to the Public Order Act? Uh, the, the Public Order Act, uh, for a long time, has been thought to be a cake. And there was an effort that was made to uh, make amendments to the Public Order Act. Uh, I would want us to hit the top there at this point, and then when we come back on the other side, we pick it up with we'll yeah, we'll on KCF. On, yeah. yeah, but we need to move a few things okay. quickly. I will try and move quickly if you are not me a free flow very quickly. Not I, th I think uh, um, when this one, Lorenzo, it is uh, what uh, NDF did mm -hmm. is Mickey Mouse. It is um, Animal Farm. That's what they did. Like they did on the Electro Act. Completely. I call it Animal Farm because you cannot tinker on the edges. You cannot tinker on the edges and expect that people will be satisfied. I'm talking about the majority of the people. I'm not talking about the few beneficiaries in being. Because you simply touch on the issue of the enjoyment of freedom of assembly and association and the regulation of public meetings. Do you think you've done it now? No. Mm -hmm. Currently, the Public Order Act does not allow the police to restrict freedom of assembly and association. But they are doing it against the current provision of the Public Order Act. So there are issues relating to ability by people to respect even the existing public order. They are not respecting it. So two things here. The proposed amendments are inadequate. Number three. Number two, the enforcement is not even assured that that will be respected. And if you allow me, therefore it means that they are doing Mickey Mouse on the Public Order Act or Public Order Act Bill. Public Order Bill. We need a, 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 an overhaul of the public order. If you allow me, Curtis, I mean, Lorenzo, stop me if you wish. On the Electoral Act, on the Electoral Bill, they've only tinkered around on reducing the campaign period from 90 days to 60 days. This is wrong. Again, we should call things by their name. This is wrong. Why is it wrong? There are 157 constituencies in this country. Tell me a superman who can campaign in 60 days and reach out to 157 constituents. Because the presidential candidate is a is 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 is, 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 in a, is a candidate in these 157 is a candidate in thousands of ones. Not hundreds, thousands of ones. In around 12 to 15,000 polling stations. How will HH reach 13,000 polling stations? Where I'm a candidate at every polling station in 60 days. What magic? When we try and use faster transport, you are aware, Lorenzo, in 2016, 2015, unlike the arguments being made some people, ignorant arguments being made by some, by some people, you see, we use helicopters. Even on a helicopter, you cannot reach 13,000 stopping points in 60 days. This is crazy. This is irresponsible. But let's tie this. Let's tie this to one issue here, which is another recommendation in the National Dialogue Forum. That recommendation, Lorenzo, is to keep Parliament open up to the election day. That is wrong too. Let me contextualize. Let me put the two together. That provision proposes wrong. One, it will not allow for free and fair elections in terms of campaigns. Ministers will continue in office up to the election day. In fact, maybe until the declaration of a new winner. But for parliament, up to the election day. PF thinks Zambians are fools. What are they trying to achieve? One, they want to circumvent the decision of the Constitutional Court when we in UPND, Lorenzo, I, we took 
to court and later joined by the Law Association of Zambia Lands, the PF ministers who served in cabinet after the dissolution of parliament in 2016 and earned money, salaries, taxpayers' money illegally. We went to court, we got a court judgment, and the PF has not obligated, the ministers have not paid that money, which money we need to be paid to pay student allowances, to pay meal allowances, to pay policemen, to provide water at 4ZR in Luena, to provide water at LO85 in Lusaka. We need the ministers to pay that money. In order to run away from paying that money, in their naivety, which is not possible because the judgment was already made, you cannot nullify it by a new judgment or a new decision. They have to pay that money. Instead of being onerous to pay that money, they are now coming around the this constitutional provision. They are also doing, Lorenzo, something illegal. What is that illegal? They want to be using taxpayers' money to campaign for a longer period. On one side, they reduce the period for all of us in opposition to 60 days. They will maintain the campaign period by the 90 days by staying in office and using fewer, using allowances. Imagine, you, we, you and I will be paying ministers and MPs allowance to campaign for PF. Meanwhile, we are not even allowed to fly there because we are not allowed airspace, usage of airspace. ZAF was denying us flying space. Our right, but we're being denied. Where is the democracy? We see through this. Zambians have seen through this. PF will not get away with it. Citizens of Zambia must come together and reject this provision and see them for the evil that lies in them. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.